Hey guys, Eric Zanda here, and today I'm going to show you how to get a PlayStation 2 emulator on your PC. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to give you this link in the description to PCSX2.net. Uh, this is to download the actual emulator, so just scroll down a little bit and download the latest version, which as of right now is 1.2.1, so just press download. Uh, we're also going to have to download the BIOS files, uh, which don't automatically come with this. So just I'll give you this link in the description as well, just press download. Okay, and while we wait for that, we also have to download the actual ISOs, otherwise known as the games, uh, to play on the emulator. So I'll give you this link to Emu Paradise. Um, this is just one of many places where you can get ISOs. Uh, so let's scroll down. Um, you can search for it alphabetically. You can search for the most downloaded or top rated, or you could just type it in right here to find the game that you're looking for. But I'm looking for Budokai Tenkaichi 3, so I'm just going to download that. Wait a little bit. Okay, now scroll down, press download links, and then press that. Scroll down a little more, and download it right there. Okay, so this might take a while. Um, so I'm just going to skip the video until this is done. Okay, so when we're done with that, we should have three files on our desktop. The PCSX2 setup, the BIOS, and then the um, ISO that you downloaded. So let's run the setup. Press run. Uh, I'm going to install all that. Press next. I'm going to change the destination folder to my desktop. Okay. And install. And it shouldn't take very long at all. And it's almost done. And this folder will um, appear out here. And this application will also appear out here. And when it's done, just press close. Now let's go to our BIOS file, or the BIOS RAR, rather. Um, right click, extract here. And this will be pulled out right here. Uh, take the BIOS, drag it into this folder. Okay. Uh, now take the ISO that you downloaded and also drag that into the folder, like so. So now it's all in the folder. Let's open it up. Um, run the extension right here. Enter. Um, and if this is your first time configuring it, this will pop up, so just press next. Um, leave all that the same, press next. Um, uncheck this box that says default set setting. Uh, we're going to look for the BIOS file right now, or the BIOS folder, which is right here. So go to browse. Mine is on my desktop, so I'm going to go enter this folder right here. Um, enter the BIOS folder and press OK. So it's going to navigate here. And now these are all the BIOS. Uh, my game that I downloaded is um, American, so I'm going to click on USA la 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 2006. Um, so yeah, just configure whatever one of these that you want. Mine, in this case, and probably yours will be USA 2006, so just press finish. Wait a little bit, and this will pop up. This is the actual emulator right here. Um, so let's just see if the game works. Go to system, boot CD or CDVD full, click it. Let's navigate to the actual game, which um, I forgot to extract. So let's extract that first. Go to your game, the RAR file, right click, press extract here. And I'll skip the video while this extracts. When that's done, this folder will come out, and the ISO will be inside of that folder. So now let's go back to the um, to the emulator. Go to System, Boot C DVD Full. Uh, let's search for that folder, which will not be in my documents. It will be on our desktop under PCSX2 or 1.2.1. Enter the folder, and here is the actual game right here inside of that folder that we just got. So press Open. Wait a little bit, and here it is. It'll load in a couple seconds. There we go. Okay, just to show you that it works, I'll hold on for a little bit. Um, you could press this button to make it full screen, but I'm gonna keep it little screen just for recording purposes. Um, it might look like it's going slow, but that's really just because I'm recording. Um, in normal circumstances, it wouldn't be going this slow. Um, the game saves and everything, so it all works out like that. Um, depending on how fast your computer is, um, that depends on how um, well the game will play. Alright, so let me show you some other cool things that you can do with it. Um, go to config. If you want to um, use a controller for it, go to um, controllers. 
plugin settings. Uh, make sure that your controller is plugged in. You can go to pad one and you can mess with it over here. Uh, you can mess with um, how the audio comes out, how the video comes out, some different stuff like that. And just mess around with the settings. And um, yeah, I'll also in the description, I'll put a link to um, the requirements for this emulator because it might be pretty um, CPU um, intensive, I guess. Um, so yeah, just see if your computer is actually good enough to play it. But I promise you this is the best emulator out there. So if this helped you out, um, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for everything, guys. Your support is awesome. See ya.